What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be talking about the five top things that I think the game should change. So I'm just gonna start off and say that one of the first things that I should that I think should definitely be changed are coins and orbs. One, take away the daily limit on coins. There is no reason for us to have a limit, honestly. Because coins are extremely hard. Second, they're probably the second hardest things to get in the game currently. Um, you know, we only get about 200 a day, 200 coins a day. <laughs> that is absolutely nothing compared to if we were just to spend, um, you know, like $5 to, for 500 coins. But in reality, this is to cater for pay, for free to win players because 200, 200 coins a day, you know, if you've been playing since the beginning of the game, it, it's, it's nothing. It absolutely, you cannot do anything with 200 coins. Um, I would say take away the daily limit because it encourages people to play for longer periods of time. It encourages people to play in general because they know that every time they play, you know, if they if they ever they hit the limit, that at any time of the day they can play and they can start getting rewards. Um, and it's just it's just better. It, it's it's something that the community is actually asking for. Another thing is increase the rewards for non-purchase boxes. For example, the corruption boxes, the alpha, you know, these things, um, and then the missions boxes. It, it, they're just way too low. I mean, like 100, 188, the max, or I should say the leads, because most likely you're going to get the leads. 133 coins for something you get once a day should not be like that. It should be at least, well, I'm not going to give it a, a, a certain amount, but um, the rewards are definitely um really really low i think for all of these um increase them by double even at that i mean in reality two to three power crystals <laughs> there's nothing you can't even open these boxes it's 18 you can't even open a regular noble box so it's it's kind of ridiculous how low the rewards are at the moment so i would say definitely change that and also in increasing the rewards Make getting orbs of Veltar and Essence a lot easier. I know there's challenges, which in any way, or oh, there's not right now, but anyway, you still need to pay to get, right? <laughs> 10 crystals. So imagine that. Two, okay, let, let, let's say you get the max, right? For a good example. Uh, you get three a day, and then you get uh, you get one, uh, two. I think it's one or two for the alpha. So you get every four hours. So you, after one full day, you might get 10 crystals, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, even even this super morph box, which is after a week of completing five missions, you only get 26 crystals. That should not be like that. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, there's there's just there's just no way to farm at all, which I think should be able to. So my second point with the game is challenge mode. Um, really simple, just two things that I think uh, should be changed or two things that should be considered is one, either increase the level of commons because a level 9 common cannot in any way be a level 3 by stats, I mean even by stats alone, right? And I'm not even talking about the players or, or skill level, it doesn't matter. A level 9 common does not equal a level 3 legendary. The rares and epics are fine, but definitely either increase the commons um, by a good amount, not just a level 10 and they're fine, no, either a level 11 or 12, um, or decrease the level of legendaries to either a 1 or a 2, because at the moment, comments are extremely nerfed, and legendaries are extremely buffed in challenge mode, which kind of makes it unfair, either that or completely take away, um, essence. Which you guys probably won't do, but would be nice. Would actually make it challenging because at the moment it's honestly pure pay to win. Um, there's almost no way to win unless you actually beefed up your characters to a certain amount. So either increase level, increase the level of commons, or decrease the level of legendaries, and for extra measure, or even a certain type of of because I know there's men on, men on mission, you know the women of power, all those all those type of challenges. Um, make one where you completely take away the essence. Um, there's just no essence in 
um, you know, uh, if you t do that as a, as a challenge, that would really be interesting. So my third point on this would be premium characters. There should not, <laughs> man. Let me let me just go take a look real quick. Um, a premium character should not be, or I, I should say, a character should not be premium longer than two seasons. That's it. A season takes how long? Just to just to double check, thirteen days, uh, or fourteen days. So you know it's a, around a month, right? So a care. I don't think a character should be premium longer than two seasons for sure. That's kind of a long time if you think about it. Um, so that's my third point. My fourth point is Megazord battles. I don't currently have any. No, I can't really go to the mode, but um, I think that the Megazord battles, not the you know, not really the mode, but the battles themselves. Um, there should definitely be consequences for winning and losing. So, for example, uh, if you win a battle, you 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 keep a hundred percent of the damage that you've done, right? So, just for an example, to make the math easy, you and your opponent have thirty thousand health. Um, if player one wins, they should keep thir the thirty thousand damage that they made because they've defeated the opponent. And let's say. Uh, player number two, which lost, um, only did 15,000 damage. Uh, what I think should happen is the the player who lost actually loses 50% of the damage that they've made. And and if the mode or the battles were like this, it definitely takes away the pay to win aspect where, you know, in my case where I wasn't able to spend any money, I was only able to put around 26, 25, let's just do a good example, 25,000 damage compared to somebody who put like a lot of money in, you know, an example, $200, they can put 45,000 um, damage in, which um, I do like that it's fair per, per skill, I mean not per skill, per power level, um, that was a good thing you guys did, um, but definitely if you win, you do 100% of the damage that you've done, but if you lose, 50% of the damage should be done. And like that, it's, that would definitely make it really competitive. And not just, you're kind of just, you know, mashing buttons, you know, Megazord battle, oh, you put a lot of money in and you win automatically. No. So, also another thing, um, there should also be individual rewards for how good you did it in the event. So, for example, let's say... Something like, you know, you did 100,000 100, damage, you get 1,000 coins. You do, uh, no, actually, that's kind of really low. No, actually, no, yeah, 100,000 damage, you do, you know, you get like 1,000 coins. Um, at, at like 500,000, you get, um, I don't know, my like, um, super mo a super box. Or you get 5,000 coins. At, you know, a million damage, you get this. Kind of like, you guys kind of get the point. So maybe like a little ladder of rewards that is individual. So that actually encourages people to play even if, you know, because some people aren't aren't in alliance, right? So they're not getting any rewards. Even though it's an alliance-based event, there's people who aren't in alliances. They, they should also be able to get some type of reward. So my last point and to wrap this whole thing up, I tried, you know, making it as uh, short as possible. So, I, and this is kind of, you know, my own personal gripe with how you guys uh, do this. So I think one, uh, one thing is your patch notes. It's, I want you guys to try to, you know, explain everything that has been changed. Um, there should be no rock unturned or whatever the example might have been. Um, Every single detail that you guys change, no matter how big, no matter how small it is, even if it's a bird flying in the background of an arena, you guys should write it down because, you know, uh, me and a lot of other people actually do want to know about those things. Like for example, when Draken's Laugh came out, it wasn't it wasn't in the patch notes. Zane being buffed, you know, with his uh, Silver Edge Slash, wasn't in the patch notes. It was something that we had to discover and it shouldn't be like that. I think you guys should definitely write it down, um, tell us because it's actually important. You know, people actually care about that. Like, I'm, I'm a person who cares about the FX, who cares about the background, you know, who cares about how the arena looks, what happens, those tiny little details, you know, like, 
when you guys added uh, effects effects to um, what, what was the uh, Black Dragon's losing uh, pose, right? Where now it shoots out sparks. I thought that was really cool, and I, when I first heard about that, I that was one of the first things that I checked out when the when that you know patch note of that um, patch release whatever um, was released, and I thought that was super cool. So I think definitely just every single li little detail, put it in the patch notes whenever you guys release um, a new update. Something so simple, something as simple as that can actually, you know, just look good. So, those are the five top things that I think should be changed with the game. Um, I will be releasing another video, uh, hopefully sometime this day, or another day, sometime this week, hopefully.